Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. So when when we when we think about those people, now we think about the tribe of Israel and but how they were divided, but their household is a like an enlarged family. Yeah. Um, and so the whole community um of the Lord, I'm reading from the NLT version, by the way. And welcome to those who have just joined us as well. Okay, so I'm reading from Joshua chapter 22, and I'm now going to verse 16. The whole community of the Lord demanded to know why you are betray- why you are betraying the Lord God of Israel. How could you turn away from God and build an altar for yourselves in rebellion against him? Was a sin at period not enough? To this day, we are not fully cleansed of it, even after the plague that struck the entire community of the Lord. Yet today you are run, you are turning away from following the Lord. If you rebel against the Lord today, you will be angry with all of us tomorrow. So they're saying that there's a repercussion. You guys are doing something that is against what God has ordained, against the order against you know the plans or his laws his his principles his uh, uh everything that he's outlaid for us as the commandments you are doing your own thing there is a repercussion guys these things that you're doing there's a repercussion don't forget and so that's what happens when sometimes we are short-sighted you know and we're thinking about the now but we're not thinking about the, the ripple effect. And this might not just do with us, but it could do with generations ahead of us. But it also pertains with generations after us because what we do today definitely affects tomorrow. What happened yesterday is what affecting many of what is affecting many of us today. And can we can we can we avoid some of this? I believe that the mercy of God would help us. I believe in the mercy of God. You know, for the mercy of God to add Ruth. Ruth, a Moabite, to the lineage of Jesus, God can do anything. <laughs> and that's a good place to say amen. God can do anything. <laughs> For the mercy of God to sideline, override Ahab. There was an account where Ahab was so, I mean, you, you, he was a wife, he was a, sorry, the, the husband of, of, of Jezebel. You know the atrocities that they, that they committed. Yet, when God brought it to Ahab's attention, he said, please, Please set it, set it aside for me. Can you imagine? The mercy of God was set aside for Ahab. He said, you can put it on my next generation after me. That shows the selfishness of him because he could have said, Lord, he could have intercede, interceded for the generations ahead and God would have answered. If God could have set aside the punishment that should have come in him, that means God could have done it for the rest of the generation, but he did not think about the rest of this generation. He just thought about himself. And that's what happens a lot of times in fam- in family dis- decisions or even in our own private lives where we make personal decisions as long as I'm happy. As long as, as long as it works for me right now, you know, as long as. And we're not thinking about the next generation or thinking about the ripple effect it would have. And that's what is or might be affecting some of us. But like I said, can God, that can the mercy of God intervene yes the mercy of god would intervene and that's why we are praying and as his mercy intervenes we are not just thinking about ourselves now and we're not just thinking about the children that we've seen but we also need to think about those that are unborn amen Uh, and i'll read verse 19 and go down it says and if you need the altar because the land you possess is defiled then join us in the lord's land where the tabernacle of the Lord is situated and share our land with us. If there is a need, if there is a need, there is a place that we can connect. There is an authentic place that we can connect, which is what we're doing right now. So we don't need to go, you don't need to do your own thing. You don't need to source out your own, your own uh, solution. God has already given us solution. God has already, he has already set out the foundation where we can stand, where we should pray. So don't try to reinvent the wheel. Let's just get back to the place of prayer. Let's just get back to our altar. Let's just get back to the Lord and make our petition before him. 
And this is what God, I believe he's, he is, he's bringing to us today that our coming together is coming together, but coming together in the right way. Say, Lord, you are the only one that we can depend on. Whether we're looking at family trends, whether they were looking at, you know, negative cycles. Lord, you are the only one that can change the situation for us. You are the only one that can rewrite our stories. You know, one of the things that, I mean, that like, every time I think about it, like, Lord, only you can do this thing. For God not to, or rewrite the, the, the history of Adam and Eve, it can only be God that can do that. And if he has set precedence with that, why would he not rewrite the stories of our household? Why would he not do that? If we are calling on him, we are not looking at any other option. Why would he not settle those that need to be among us? Why would he not heal those that need, he needs to heal among us? Why would he not restore the homes and the relationships and marriages that he needs to restore? Why would he not do it? He's able. If he, do, if he has done it for others, I have an assurance. And I pray that the Holy Spirit is stirring up an assurance in your heart that he would do it for us. We are not praying a prayer, you know, just for religious sake. We are not just praying just to say, well, let me pray and let's see if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen. No, we are praying because we believe and we know that our God is able. He is able. He is able. He is able to intervene. He's able to intervene. We are connected by the blood, by the covenant of the blood. He went on to say, did divine anger fall on the entire community of, of Israel because of Achan? We don't want to go back to that place. We've seen the anger of God. We've seen or the, the, the consequence of when somebody among us has done wrong. We've seen the consequence. He didn't get away with it. And praise God, these people said, then the people of Reuben, Gad, and the half of Manasseh answered, the heads of the clan, the Lord, the mighty one, is God. The Lord, the mighty one, is God. He knows the truth. And may Israel know it too. It says, we have not built the altar in treacherous, in treacherous rebellion against the Lord. We have not, we have done so, not, we have, sorry, we have done so. Do not spare our lives this day. If we have done so, do not spare our lives this day. We have built an altar for ourselves to turn away from the Lord. Or offer burnt offerings or grain offerings of uh, or offerings or peace offerings, may the Lord himself punish us. If this is what we've done, may the Lord himself punish us. But here again, he says, he said, the truth is we have built this altar because we fear that in the future, your descendants will say to ours, what right do you have to worship the Lord God of Israel? The Lord has placed the Jordan River as a barrier between our people and you people of Reuben and Gad, and you have no claim to So your descendants may prevent our descendants from worshiping the Lord. So we decided to build the altar, not for burnt offering or sacrifices, but for a memorial. It will remind our descendants and your descendants that we too have the right to worship the Lord at the sanctuary with our burnt offering, sacrifices, peace offering, then your descendants will not be able to say to ours, you have no claim to the Lord. The altar here was built as a memorial. It was built as a memorial for the generations ahead. Our prayers here, and I pray that, I mean, we would also be beneficiaries or first partakers of this. But the prayers here that we're doing, so also for the future generation, 
generations after us. While we are also, why we also have needs, we are not reinventing the wheel. We are coming to God to ask for His mercy over our entire household. There are things that cannot be undone. But God, who is a rewriter of stories, would rewrite our stories, would rewrite the plans that have been interrupted. The lives that have been affected, he would heal. The broken, the lives that have been broken, he would heal. The relationships that have been affected, he would heal. We don't, I don't even know how he would do it. And that's in my own personal space. And I said, Lord, I don't even know how you're going to do it, but I know you would do it. I don't need to tell you how to do it, but I know that you would do it. And so today I want us to lift up our voices to the Lord. So, Father, we present our households to you. We don't know how you are going to do the reconciliation. We don't know how you're going to bring the peace and the wholeness and the healing. We don't know how you're going to strengthen us. We don't know how you're going to change these patterns, how you're going to repair and do the restoration. But we know that you are able. That's the assurance that we have. So we present our households to you. We present our lives to you. We present our, our spouses to you. We present our children to you, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. We present the generation ahead. Yet unborn, we present to you, Lord. You are the one that will show us mercy. You are the one that would help us. So we are asking that you will show our household mercy. Mercy beyond what we even know, what we can even imagine. I hope you're praying. We are just asking for your mercy that is new every morning. Every morning. We ask that you show us mercy. We are not doing anything of that. I pray that we're not doing anything out of your will. And if we get to do anything or want to do anything out of your will, Holy Spirit, I pray that you bring it to our attention. But the things that we have done wrong, we ask for mercy. The things that we are doing wrong, Lord, that we are not even aware of, as you bring it to our attention, we ask for mercy. We ask for mercy. The consequences that we're facing now, whether it's due to our own fault, whether it's due to all God, things that our parents have done, grandparents have done, generations have done, that we are facing the consequences. We ask for mercy. We're asking for your 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 mercy. We cry for mercy today. We ask that you show us mercy. And through your mercy, we know the Lord that we would experience reconciliation. Through your mercy, Lord, we'll see lives being turned around. Through your mercy, we will see, oh God, homes being built in the name of Jesus. Through your mercy, we will see, oh God, stories being rewritten. Through your mercy, we'll see and experience healing, healing. Healing we want beyond what we can even imagine. Oh my God. We ask that you show us and the generation ahead of us mercy. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. We are crying for your mercy today. We are crying for your mercy today. We are crying for your mercy today. We hear us intercessors for our household. For our siblings, for our spouses, for our children, even for our parents, Lord. Because you've called us priests unto you. And you are the high priest. You know the feelings of our infirmities. You've been here. You've walked here. You've experienced the pain that we're experiencing, the rejection that we're experiencing, the brokenness of life that we're experiencing. You know what it feels like. 
And the pain, Lord, that you went through is beyond what we can ever, ever even imagine. And so we ask your mercy. 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 James says that mercy triumphs over judgment. Lord, let your mercy triumph even over consequences, Lord, of actions that have been taken, decisions that have been taken, moves that have been made. We ask that mercy would override. We're not taking it for granted. We're not, we're not, Lord. We're not making excuses. We're not justifying anything. We're just asking for your mercy. Just asking for your mercy. And we ask, Lord, that you give us the willingness to also walk in obedience. Let our hearts just be, Lord, be submissive to you. Be submissive to you, Lord. As we repent, help us not to go back. Help us, Lord, Lord to stop, oh God, those habits that are causing the consequences. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail over us. Let your mercy prevail over church. Let your mercy prevail over household, Lord. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy. Let your mercy speak for us. In the name of Jesus. Let your mercy, oh God, cancel the consequences ah, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When situations look hopeless, Lord, to you, they can never be. Lazarus was dead four days. The sister said to Jesus, his body stinks. Jesus said, take me to where you've laid him. Take me. We are taking you to where, Lord, it's smelling. It feels hopeless. Feels like it cannot be a change. We're taking you there. We're opening up these places to you. Things that we're even ashamed of God of even talking about. We open up to you. We open up to you. We open up to you. Open up to you. What we call failures, what we call disappointments, even of our own behaviors, oh God, of what we should be doing and yet we're not doing. We open it all up to you. We open it. We open it up. We open it up. We can't run to man. Men are limited in their ability to help. But we know that our help comes from you. We ask that you show us mercy. Show us your mercy, Lord. Show us your mercy. Show us your mercy, Lord. Just cry out to the Lord for his mercy. His mercy. And we know that your mercy will cancel even condemnation, self-condemnation. Your mercy will cancel even those negative voices in our head. Say that it can't be. We know with you all things are possible. With you, situations can turn around. Can turn around with you. All things are possible with you. 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 You can heal beyond our understanding. You can restore beyond our understanding. You can strengthen beyond our understanding. Yes, yes, yes. To do all things beyond our understanding. We ask for your mercy, Lord. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your mercy over every woman and every man in our household, whether young or old. Lord, we also pray, Lord, for the generation ahead, ahead of us. Show us, show our household, our family lineage, your mercy. Those that have gone ahead, they've gone ahead. But those, if you want that is alive 
and he's breathing. He's breathing. I have an uncle who is 99 years old. From that age, he will have members of family who are even over 100, wherever they are. Whether we know them, we don't know them. Show our family lines your mercy. Your mercy. Your mercy. Your mercy. Where the activities that are happening even right now that we don't know that are that will cause consequences tomorrow. Lord, let your mercy override those activities. Where words have been spoken, Lord, that are against your will for us, override those utterances, Lord. Because Holy Spirit, you, are, you, you, you reveal hidden things. You reveal hidden things, my God. My God. Where exchanges have been made right now, unknowing to us, but you can see because your eyes run toward and fro the earth, let your mercy override those things that you can see concerning our households. Let your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, Lord. Your mercy, Lord. Your mercy, Lord. Your mercy, your mercy, your mercy. Let your mercy weaken, oh God, even the accuser against us. Let your mercy weaken, oh God, the tongue of the accuser against us. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy weaken, oh God, and cancel every legal ground that has been lifted against us. Let your mercy, your mercy, oh Lord, your mercy, cancel, cancel, cancel those claims. Let your mercy, oh Father, let the voice of your mercy amplify every voice of judgment right now in the name of Jesus. Let the voice of mercy override every voice, oh God, of condemnation in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy, oh the voice of your mercy override, override every claim, every claim, every claim in the name of Jesus. Let the voice of your mercy, oh God, be amplified. And shut down every strange voice in the name of Jesus. Let mercy triumph for us. Let mercy triumph for our household. Let mercy triumph, oh God, for our relationships. Let mercy triumph, oh God, hallelujah, for the offsprings. Let mercy, 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 mercy. Let mercy triumph. Let mercy triumph, Lord. Let mercy triumph, Lord. Let mercy triumph, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let mercy triumph. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We've come into your courts and we are asking you just judge for your mercy. We are pleading for your mercy. We are pleading for your mercy. We are pleading for your mercy. In the name of Jesus, even over hearts that are rejecting you right now, that you are sending people, oh God, to speak to, let mercy override those hearts and bring a conviction, oh God, unto righteousness. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, where there's a claim of death, let mercy override it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, where there's a claim, oh God, that wants to, oh God, bring a consequence of sickness, let mercy override it right now in the name of Jesus, where a claim, oh God, that wants to bring, oh God, barrenness, oh God, bring loss of children. Let mercy override that right now and say, let this generation leave. Let this home be fruitful. Let this womb be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, cause your people, oh God, Father, to experience your mercy beyond what we can see, what we can understand. In the name of Jesus, let mercy, mercy, set to, oh God, those that you have said, this one must marry. In the name of Jesus, this one must settle. Oh God, where their voices, oh God, that have been raised, uh, words that have been spoken, oh God, knowingly, unknowingly, let mercy triumph, let mercy speak, let mercy, oh God, break forth your will for every single one of us here. In the name of Jesus, 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 let mercy override anything that wants to work contrary to your will for us. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. They're asking for mercy. Yes, Let it prevail. Yes, Let Jesus. it speak for us. Yes, Let mercy Lord. speak for us. Yes, Let Jesus. your mercy speak for us. In yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. Yes. Let your mercy speak for us. Yes. 
in the name of Jesus, where we have done things, Lord, that we have not thought about, Lord, the repercussion or the consequences, Lord. We are so mercy. We are so mercy, Lord, because the court of the law, ignorance of the law is no excuse. So, Lord, we're not making an excuse. I didn't know. We are just asking for mercy to prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy he prevail. Let your mercy, oh God, yes, protect every member of our families in the name of Jesus. Those close to us, those far away from us, let mercy protect our going out. Let mercy protect our coming in. In the name of Jesus, let mercy, oh God, release, Father God, divine provision in the name of Jesus. You know, when the Lord was speaking to Pharaoh about the seven years, the seven years of plenty and the seven years uh, of famine, you know, that always reminds me that there are times when God pours out his blessing, but there's been waste where we have wasted resources. Lord, you've blessed us and we have not thought about how to manage those things. We are asking for mercy in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for mercy, that mercy would override. Mm -hmm. Lord, where there is, oh God, there is, uh, 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 there is, oh God, any any lack in the name of Jesus. Let mercy override in the name of Jesus. Lord, where there is, uh, oh God, scarcity right now, in the name of Jesus, we mm -hmm. ask for mercy. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, where appointments, Lord, have not been managed. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, uh, Lord, where jobs have not been managed, uh, where opportunities have not been managed, in the name of Jesus, we've taken them for granted. We ask for mercy. We ask so we ask for mercy in the name of Jesus, Lord, where relationships have not been managed. Lord, we ask for mercy in the name of Jesus. Let mercy, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, speak for us in the name of Jesus. Lord, where we have, oh God, out of anger, said things. Lord, that the enemy wants to take advantage of. My God, we ask for mercy in the of, oh God, the repercussions of those words, the repercussions of those statements in the name of Jesus. You know, I remember this woman, uh, um, I think it's Cindy Trim. She used to say she wanted to die before the age of 40. She just wanted to die. She just, she just keep on saying, I just want to die. I don't want to live beyond that. And it got to the age of 40. Her health started to deteriorate. There was no reason and she was actually going to die until the holy spirit brought it to her attention she said you remember you said you didn't want to live beyond 40 the power of words waiting to be triggered at certain seasons of life she had even forgotten about that statement she had got to a place where life now she's now thriving she's now enjoying life getting to the peak of her life and my god things started to go down because of health matters why it wasn't the health matter it was because of a word that had been uttered Mm -hmm. and it was just waiting for a maturity date father where words have been uttered we have even forgotten about those words sometimes people bring something some, do you remember when you said this said me you showed me I never said that and you said it but memory mm -hmm. those have, maybe you said it when you were happy said it when you were angry said it when you were sad said it when you were in a place of desperation lord where those words have been said, you saw those moments. You saw those moments. It's not from a place of condemnation, but they're waiting to find their trigger points, waiting to look for, oh God, the days of maturity. We ask for mercy to override those words, those negative words, those careless words, those wasted words, Lord. Those words that we really did not mean it. They were said anyway to satisfy the flesh. We ask for mercy. We ask for your mercy, Lord. We ask for your mercy, Lord. We ask for mercy anywhere there is a trigger. Where anywhere there's a legal point. Anywhere, oh God, there's a point of allegation. You know, the blood of Jesus washes away our sins. The enemy finds other ways. Was it not Jesus that said and still tried to use Peter to come to him? It's not Jesus that Satan used to come and tempt. He's always looking for something. But Lord, mm. wherever there are things that are dormant, wherever there are things that are active, wherever there are things, oh God, that we don't know, let your mercy search yes, them out for us. Yes, we ask God. that your mercy will search them out for us and cancel yes. every claim, cancel every activation, cancel every operation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Today, we are just crying out for mercy. Your mercy, yes. Lord. Your mercy. Your mercy. Your mercy for us. Your mercy. Your mercy that will change things. 
for us. Your mercy that would rewrite mm. our stories. Your mercy, oh God, that would even, oh God, wipe away what needs to be wiped away because the blood of Jesus, the Bible says, cancels every handwriting that was against us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, the reason why we remember about our past glory is because the enemy wants to use that to say, you remember when you used to have, you remember when you remember, you remember those days, those days, yes, those days have gone. But Lord, if there's any consequences of those days that we are suffering right now, mm-hmm. mercy would override them. Mercy would override them. Mm-hmm. Those days were going to be so picky, Lord. Now it's like those seasons have gone. Father, you can treat the seasons. You are the one that causes seasons to come and to go. <laughs> Even when in Lord, in places like England, when we say summertime, you cause rain to fall. Yes. Sometimes we see hailstones. Mm. It's your interruption. It's nothing to do with man. So you can interrupt anything mm. working against your will. You can interrupt anything that wants to manifest in our lives against mm. your will. In the name of Jesus. And that's why we're coming to you. That's why we are praying to you. That's why we are making a petition to you. In the name of Jesus. Let your mercy restore. Let your mercy heal. Let your mercy heal. Let your mercy heal our homes, Lord. Let your mercy heal our relationships. Let your mercy heal our hearts and our minds, Lord. In the name, in the name of Jesus, hear the word brand new. Lord, heal us to the place of things being brand new, brand new, new again. You are the one that changes even the hearts of God of men. Yes, you shall give your new heart. Lord, anything that needs to be renewed, let mercy make that exchange right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever needs to be made brand new. My God, whatever that is that is beyond repair, mm. that just needs to be made brand new, oh Lord, we ask that you do the supernatural exchange. Nobody sees when the new heart has been put in and the old heart has been taken. Mm. My God, no one sees when the old vessel has been taken and the new wine has been put in. There's a supernatural exchange, supernatural transactions that take place. Mm. Because life itself is spiritual. Mm -hmm. But Lord, we open up ourselves. We open up ourselves to you for the divine exchange. The divine exchange of anything, Lord, that you need to replace in the name of Jesus. Because we cannot be with you and remain the same. You're not a dead God. You are alive. You are alive. And you are able. And we know that truth. Oh, we know that truth. We rest in that truth. We rest in that truth. We rest in that truth. Let's begin to thank him. We rest in that truth. We rest in that truth. That he is able. That he is able. Our God is able. Our God is able. He's able to restore that child. He's able to restore that relationship. He's able to restore that womb. He's able to restore, restore the finances. He's able to restore the minds. Yes, he's able to restore the connections. He's able to restore anything that is dead, that is broken. My God, that is beyond repair. He can make new. He's able. We don't want to know how you do it, Lord, but we know that you will do it. You will do it. You will do it. Because we're looking unto you. We often the finish of our faith. And you say you do a new thing. Do a new thing. We pray that we'll see it. As you do it, may we see it. So that we will have, oh God. We will praise you. We will thank you. We will acknowledge what you have done. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So we thank you. Thank you for the divine exchange that is taking place right now. Thank you for the divine replacement that is taking place right now. Right now, my God. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you. Thank you for the divine replacements. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, the divine healings, Lord. Where there's healing, thank you for healing. Where there needs to be an operation, thank you. Where there needs to be an exchange, we thank you. Because you would do what you know best. We can't tell you what to do. But we thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for the clearance. 
Thank you. Thank you for refreshing us. Yes, as we repent. Yes, Bible says times of refreshing will come. So thank you for the for even refreshing us. Refreshing us. Thank you for refreshing us. As we have repented, thank you for refreshing us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Thank you for what you're doing in every member of our households. In the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you because there will be evidences, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the divine exchange of lives of our children. Thank you for the divine exchange of lives of our God, our spouses, our siblings. Thank you for the divine exchange, Lord, even in the hearts of our parents, lives of our parents. Thank you for the divine exchange in the lives of God, of our, our grandchildren, great grandchildren, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the divine exchange that would need to take place, even those that are yet to be born, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, because you made us in your image and in your likeness. And Lord, you will take out anything that doesn't represent you. And you will replace it with what looks like your plans for us. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. In the name of Jesus, Let's lift up the rest of the families who are not here that are connected to this ministry. The Lord, as we have asked for your mercy, Lord, we also remember those who are not here, that your mercy also will be extended. We experience, Lord, over families that are connected to this ministry. In the name of Jesus, we shall hear well of them. It shall be well with them. In the name of Jesus, even those who have not been able to stay but came into this space, thank you for your mercy, oh God, that they would also experience in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you because, Lord, families, oh God, are, yes, are put together by you in the name of Jesus. And we thank you that you will bless every household mm -hmm. present, oh God, whether in this space or who are not in this space, but they are connected with us. Thank you because you will bless every household. You'll make every household fruitful. You'll make every household, oh God, hallelujah, fruitful flourish you'll make cause cause every household to thrive in the name of jesus we will not suffer lord but we would enjoy your plans for us because your plans are great towards us great towards us great towards us in the name of jesus oh lord we say thank you abba father we pray for those of members of our household who are not saved lord we ask that you save them in the name of Jesus, you met Saul on his way to Damascus. Lord, you can meet with any man. You can change any man. You met, oh God, your disciples on the way, whether they were on their job, whether they were under a tree. You met them and you called them. And they responded. Father, we pray, oh God, that those, Lord, that the Holy Spirit, Lord, that Holy Spirit, that you will convict, they would respond to your call. Yeah. They would respond to your call would respond to your call those who are not saved lord cause them to respond to your call cause them to respond to your call of salvation in the name of jesus thank you because your covenant your word says when one is saved the whole household is saved through the covenant of the blood of jesus where spouses are not saved lord we thank you holy spirit that you will convict their hearts unto righteousness. Where children are not saved, Lord, or have chosen their own way, thank you because you convict their hearts unto righteousness. In the name of Jesus, where siblings are not saved, we thank you because you convict their hearts unto righteousness. Where grandchildren, great-grandchildren are not saved, we thank you because they would encounter you and convict their hearts unto righteousness. In the name of Jesus, where parents are not saved, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you convict their hearts unto righteousness in the name of Jesus. And you are the surgeon of our families. You are. You are. You know, you know where the brokenness is. You know where, oh God, needs to be replaced. You know where healing needs to take place. You know where deliverance needs to take Whatever. You know. Because we lay ourselves before. We lay our families before. In the name of Jesus. Lord, that you do what only you would do. 
in the name of Jesus. And glorify yourself in us. Mm -hmm. Glorify yourself among us. Glorify yourself among us. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And at this time, I just want to ask if there's any other request that we have not, um, that has not been covered. Um, to Pastor Kerian, how are your children doing in the name of Jesus? No, you're at work. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, oh, my son is better. Praise God. He is better. Um, I just give God thanks. Um, he's better. He's up and running. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'll probably give him back trouble. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes, yeah, because that's a baby. Because it was the, the um the last one, the six year old, and my oldest daughter. Yeah, how is she coming out today out of the hospital? Okay. Yeah, so we give God thanks. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she's coming. She's coming out. out today. That's what she said. Basically today, so Man. I'm praying for Amen. that too because she is there since Amen. about four days now. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. And yeah, the diagnosis with new mono. Yes. Okay. Now they say let's get to get the flu in the hospital. So, oh God, that place. Amen. So yes, we just Thank giving you. God thanks. God bless Amen. you all for the prayers. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Is there any other progress report? Um, Sister Vivian, how is how is your daughter doing for the for her placement? Call Please, at this moment, while I'm asking for this, please, um, um, if there's any prayer request, you can type it on the chat or you can send it to me personally in Jesus' name. So Vivian, can you speak? Or maybe you can type because I know you're at work as well. Is there any other progress or we need to cover those things that we have, um, you know, that we're trusting God for our brother's job? Any progress with anything or any requests that we need to cover before we close today? Please send them in in Jesus' name. We want to welcome those joining us for the first time in Jesus' Sorry, name. Uh, yes, Pastor yes. Sorry, Pastor Chris. Sorry, I can yeah. speak briefly. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm still on it. We're still looking for spaces. Anybody that has any link or whatever that could help, we're okay. just waiting for options. She has, still hasn't gotten a place. A year is gone. She's just home. And I'm getting very, very worried. Another year, September is coming up. So I need her to be somewhere. Okay, how old is she? Somewhere. She's she'll be twenty in May. Ah, oh, okay. And what's a, what area of work? Law, accounting, admin. That's her field. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So we, that... we didn't start early enough. You understand? We didn't start early enough. So, but you know, it's very uh, oh, right. highly so competitive. For, right. So she's looking it's... for apprenticeship. Yeah. So okay. She, she wants to go that route. Okay. I don't want to go through uni directly. Okay. Okay. I'll speak to you on that. Okay. Right. Thank now you. aware of that. Okay. So it's also good to talk. Praise God. Okay. Mm. Thank okay. you. I can go off now. <laughs> yeah, well, yes. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Is there um is there any other um any requests? I've not seen anything come into the chat. Okay, so if there isn't, please don't let me go and you have a prayer request. Hallelujah. Okay. Did you tell me? Okay. I would ask Apostle to close for us. In Jesus' name. Can you speak Apostle to Christ? Okay. Please close for us. Thank you. Okay, there's something on the chat. I'm just checking quickly. Okay, can you cover the Ariel's requests for him, please, while you pray? Yep. Amen. Lord God, we thank you for uh, Brother Ariel. Lord God, we thank you for his consistency uh, in and around uh, the Holy Spirit world, the 
Lord God, and just everything that you are doing in this ministry, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you that you are guiding him in the direction that uh, you would desire him to go, Lord God. We declare that he is hearing you keenly, Lord God, and that the boldness is shifting and rising up in him in this hour, Lord God, to be obedient and trusting of all that you are saying he gets to do, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, for the mentors that you have released in the Life. Lord God, for further help, they give us further guidance Lord God, concerning the things that you are speaking to him and that you are having him to do, uh, Lord God. We thank you that destiny is upon him, Lord God, and every other door and gateway concerning his life and his purpose is shutting down right mm -hmm. now. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and only mm. your destiny pathway is opening up uh, for uh, Ariel right now. Look, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that he is trusting you to show him the path of life, Lord God, knowing that in your presence, Lord God, abiding with you, living in destiny as a lifestyle with you, Lord God, brings fulfillment, Lord God. It brings uh, uh, joy, uh, Lord Jesus Christ. It brings uh, sustaining success. Lord Jesus Christ. So I just thank you for all that you have been doing and that you're continuing to do in his life, Lord God. And I just decree, uh, Lord Jesus, uh, that the seeds and everything that has been sown into him, uh, Lord God, as he continuously sit under uh, your word, Lord God, is falling uh, upon uh, uh, good ground, Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. We command a uh, uh, that revelation to penetrate right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, to become solid in him, to become fruitful in him, to become yes. flourishing in him, to become confident in him, to become bold in him, even yes. now, Lord yes. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we cancel any stifling, uh, Lord yes. God, of having or having him to stay in one place, uh, having him to stay, uh, Lord God, where he's constantly filled up, but never moving and shifting. We break that off of him. We break every ball and chain off of his feet right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and we decree your momentum. Uh, uh, Lord God of destiny, your acceleration of destiny right now, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, as we shod his feet uh, uh, with your gospel, uh, Lord God, and as we move and shift him to the next uh, uh, level, Lord God, uh, of destiny for such a time as this, Lord God, we heal everything in area that yes. would hinder him from shifting forward. We say heal right now, healing his identity, healing yes. his man, heal right now, heal it in his bloodline, heal in his blood, heal in his heart, mind, and soul, heal in his perception of self, heal in his trust and relationship with God, heal right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we thank you for everything that you have done here today. Uh, yeah. Lord God, we thank you for your mercy that has yeah. been poured out. Uh, Lord yeah. Jesus Christ, your mercy that is reigning and ruling upon our lives and our bloodlines, yes. Lord God. Uh, yes. We thank you yes. that those doors and gateways and portals are shut. Uh, Lord God, and that we have uh, done a divine turnaround, a turning, uh, Lord God, uh, to uh, be guided into truth and to be guided into, uh, uh, Lord God, righteousness, uh, uh, Lord God, as you have forgiven us and restored her, us, uh, Lord God, uh, uh, regarding cycles and patterns that have been dealt with today personally and generationally, Lord God. We say we will see these enemies no more. We will see these cycles and patterns no more as those gates are shut, those doors are are shut those pathways are shut those cycles are broken and closed down right now lord yes. god in the name of jesus christ and we are shifting to uh, uh the straight gate uh, uh lord god uh, operating in a straight and narrow path uh, with you narrow is the way uh mm -hmm. lord god we decree that over ourselves narrow is the way uh lord jesus christ yes 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 and we walk in oneness uh, uh, with you, Lord God. You are a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We decree refreshing over Apostle Praise, Lord God. We thank you that even as she has poured out, you are pouring back into her, Lord God. You're soaking her in your refreshing glory right now. She's being drenched in your soaking glory right now, Lord God. Refreshed, uh, Lord God, in your soaking glory. I even just decree that over every person in the room, Lord God, that we are being renewed, we are yeah. being replenished in the yeah. supplication of your glory. Yeah. Your glory will yeah. increase as mm -hmm. we shift throughout this day. I just mm -hmm. feel it decree that it is so in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. Amen and amen. 
And amen. Praise God. Thank you very much. Um, we're here tomorrow. Um, I know it's Good Friday and um, people might have services, uh, but um, we won't be having a service in the evening, but we would have a session in the morning or night time as usual. And we will still be here um, at 3 p.m. GMT, which would be different for, diff for people in the different time zones. But by God's grace, we'll be here tomorrow and then we'll be back next week. Okay, thank you for joining us. God bless you. Enjoy the mercy of God in Jesus' name. Amen. And look out for your testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I'll be closing the room. Praise God, counting down from five and four and three and two and one. Shalom. Blessings to you.